So guys, I thought I would get the vlog camera out just because I'm recording quite a momentous moment. Um, as you're watching this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I have my own phone case collection coming out with Skinny Dip in five minutes. It literally launched in five minutes. And oh my God, she sent me. I'm literally waiting for the email for them to send me the, when the cases are live on the site. It's currently meant to be live at 10 a.m. and it's 9.56. And I literally could cry. Um, I'm just nervous because I feel like it's out of my control. Like all the things that are going on, like all the posting, everything. It's like it's not done my end, it's done their end. So I'm just anxiously waiting for it to all happen. But I literally don't want to cry. I just, I still can't believe that this has happened. Like it's been something that's been on my mood board for so long. Like my vision board. I can't even speak, I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, it's been on my vision board for so long and it's something that I really wanted to do this year. So every time my phone's going, I'm getting really stressed. I really wanted to, to do it this year. So also ignore the spot on my head just to lighten the mood. I don't know what has happened here. It's like some sort of period, pre-period spot, which is really not welcome. So let's just ignore that. But I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I'm just still just fucking waiting for it to launch. It's stressing me out, guys. It's stressing me out. Also, sorry, I just watched that back and that is literally the most real clip ever like look at the two spots i've got this one this one got mascara literally all on my eye like you guys can tell i'm not really prepared today but oh my god i haven't even checked the time fuck three minutes so i don't know if it's gonna launch in three minutes or not so that's why i'm just trying to be like right let me check the website again she did say she would email me when they were live but i don't want to post the picture before they're live if you guys know what i mean just in case like oh my god they're live they're live they're live Oh my fucking god, right, I need to do my post and I'll come back and talk to you guys, I literally can't believe it. Sorry, I just had to capture this because I feel like I'm going to want to look back on it. I don't even know if this will go anywhere, probably won't go anywhere. Right, it's 10, I'm posting and I just, I literally love you guys so much and I feel like if I told myself this when I was at uni, I literally just would have believed it, so... So, hello everyone, welcome back to another little week in my life. Again, starting this vlog a little bit stressed, a little bit in a rush. I'm actually, I feel like if you watched last week's vlog, this is a bit of deja vu, but I'm getting ready for another Ekinsu event right now. Um, but this time it's with Beauty Works. I've actually never been to a Beauty Works event, so it's going to be really, really fun. That is tonight. It's literally like, what's the time now? My phone's buzzing. It is currently half four, and I'm planning on leaving here probably about quarter to six, or maybe a bit later. I'm basically ready, other than my lipstick and like final touches. I know what I'm wearing, so I'll show you guys that when I get dressed, but I do need to eat. I need to have dinner because I've literally not had any dinner, and I've just got like this little bowl thing. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I literally can't cook. If you've been here for a while, you'll probably know I'm not a cooker. I literally have like hummus and pizza bread for lunch and I'll have like a ready meal or something for dinner. So I've got like this bowl yakisoba thing, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna attempt to make it, which even for me is like, it's a big step. So it's Japanese yakisoba posh noodles. It looks yum, I'm literally starving. So I'm gonna try and make this now. <laughs> try and make this, it's literally pouring like boiling water into a bowl, but. I was texting my mum because the microwave isn't working. I literally want to cry because I need to eat. I don't really know what's going wrong. Right. I think I might have been clicking the wrong button. Success. So while that is cooking, whatever it's doing, um, I've actually crimped my hair today, which is a little bit of a different decision for me. I feel like I've just had it curly so much. Um, but I feel like because we're going to Beauty Works event, it's Beauty Works extensions. They've got like a waiver tool, so I didn't actually use that to do my hair, but I just felt like doing something a bit more kind of hair based. And I feel like with the outfit that I'm wearing, it's a little bit more kind of like edgy. So I feel like it needed more like cool girl hair. So this is what I've gone for. Okay, I think this is right. So it's done. I'm just gonna add some sriracha because this is literally my fave and maybe some miso as well, some yuzu. That is my dinner. So 
So once I was all ready, I hopped on the tube and headed to Regent Street, which is where the event was. Here is a little close up of my outfit. I took my liquor gold bag. The underground is still like an oven. I don't understand. It is literally boiling hot, even though it is freezing outside now. It's just, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, headed to Regent Street. I just never get tired of this view. I don't really come to this part of London that much, but whenever I come, I'm still amazed by it. Just so beautiful. Here's me walking to the event. So the event was in Hotel Cafe Royale, which is just absolutely stunning. It is a stunning building. Here are some margaritas being made. These were gorgeous. A little cheers moment. Little photo booth. A little bit of a closer look at my hair and makeup. I actually went in there later on with Ekin Sue. Fun fact. Um, it literally got so busy. I saw so many people that I knew there, which was so nice. Had such a fun night. Just mingled, chatted, networked. There's Ekin Sue looking absolutely stunning as ever. Then I completely forgot to vlog the next day, but I actually went to the Nadine Marabi fashion show, which I just had to include these clips from because everything was so stunning. This is what I wore. It was a little jumpsuit from ASOS. Obsessed with this. I wore this on my birthday, but it was just such a good night. But I have to show you guys the new collection because, oh my gosh, I need all of it. Let me know down below which are your like favorite pieces because I was just obsessed with everything. <laughs> So the next day I was back in Bond Street, basically the same place I was last night and I actually headed to the H&M showroom which was super fun. So hello guys, this has been the most stressful random vlog but for like the last two days I've just had so many events I just could not keep up with the vlogging, it's just really hard to vlog at those events. So I did a little montage of what I went to, I literally feel like my life is like Gossip Girl right now, it's actually crazy. Um, but on to today we are in the H&M showroom, I've literally just arrived. I have been here once before but not for a little while but I'm literally obsessed with everything. I've literally just got here and I've basically got free reign of this whole room to kind of look at everything and try some stuff on. This is what I am currently looking at, so this is the rarest stuff I can pick from all of this stuff which is really cool and i can actually have the accessories as well i really like these boots these like cream boots are stunning these are cool as well but i feel like i wouldn't be able to walk in these particularly well but they are so cool kind of giving brats vibes so yeah i'm just gonna have a little look try some things on i really do like this is this the jumper i tried on a jumper similar to this in prague and i absolutely loved it i also really like that coat I'm not sure if I can have that because it's on the mannequin. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a quick look at all this stuff now. I'll try some stuff on. I'll show you guys how it looks. And yeah, I'm very excited. Guys, it is literally so cute in here. It's literally done like a whole house. So you've got all the H&M home stuff. You've got all the sofas. They've also got Tony's chocolate in here. And she's like, you can take any snacks you want, which was amazing. Tony's is literally my favourite. This little chair is so cute. The bar stools. It's literally done like a house. I'm obsessed. So I am struggling a little bit with the sizes because I've only got one size of everything out. Um, but I really like this dress. This is very cute. I've seen this everywhere at the moment, but it's actually really cute in person. I love this kind of neckline at the moment when it's like bardo. I think it's very flattering. And I also really love these boots, which I've just tried on. Also from H&M. But yeah, I'm actually just struggling a little bit. I've tried on a black blazer as well, which is quite nice, but we'll see what else we can find. So I haven't been able to do this up properly at the back, which is really annoying, so it will fit a little bit more snug, but I'm obsessed with this dress. This is like Christmas inspo. This is like sparkle season. Is it too early? I don't think it is. I'm obsessed with this. Like when I saw this hanging up, I just wasn't like wild by it. And then now I've put it on, I'm like, I love it. I kind of love it with the boots and the whole like hair and everything. We really want to wear this Christmas. You can kind of see at the back, it's not fully done up. But I really like the length, like it's very mini, but it's not too... It's not too much, I feel like it's kind of good for like a night out or like dinner and drinks for Christmas. This is a stunning dress. I will link everything down below by the way for you guys because I know a lot of you are probably going to want this. I'm not sure if everything is launched yet or if it's like new things but I love this. So I've also found this black blazer which I really like. Um, I've got a black blazer from Addicted but it's very oversized whereas this one fits a lot more like my Bershka ones. Um, so I feel like I could wear it more with like trousers and stuff like that. Like it's oversized but it's not too much. Um, or even with like dresses and stuff in the evening. I probably wouldn't wear this together, but I just put it on to show you guys to try. 
but yeah it's quite a good length it's quite good in the arms it's a little bit boxy like in the middle but it's quite a it's quite a good fit because i really struggle with blazers so i'm not even sure what size this is but kind of here for it after we finished up at the showroom i headed to south molton street here's why i wore my skims dress my balenciaga bag outfit of the day i was actually lucky enough to be invited to the papalonkia pop-up which is like a vintage bag website they actually just had a little pop-up in south molton street they had the most stunning bags ever like i really had to restrain myself from making a purchase the prices were so good like that prada for 3.99 i just thought was such a good price they had so many chanel's they had like birkins balenciaga dior honestly like every single brand you can think of that had loads of louis vuittons as well and like loads of really nice louis vuittons i love this little friendly peekaboo so gorgeous their clothing they had jewelry literally so much so i will link them down below because you guys know i'm always on the hunt for new like designer resale sites and i think papalonkia is a really good one look at these versace heels as well like oh my gosh stunning i like the classic flap actually a girl bought this just after i videoed this and i was like i'm jealous of you and this cream one was just so stunning as well but i just didn't love the silver hardware on it they had like just some really unique pieces like that christian dior piece is quite unique stunning red flat bag yeah just so much stuff so many like limited edition chanel's as well this was the newspaper print chanel which i just fell in love with and yeah like i said it was very hard for me to not spend my money in there but thanks so much to them for inviting me because i had a lovely time so hello guys kind of forgot about you for a hot minute um, I actually don't even remember the last thing that I filmed in this vlog. I think it was the day that I went to the H&M showroom and the Papillonica pop-up. Such a lovely day. I think I showed you everything that I picked up in H&M. I'm pretty sure that I did. So I probably don't need to do another haul of that. This last week and the last few days have just been all a bit hectic because I had a last minute email saying that my cases with skinny dip were going to launch which was this was yesterday that they launched so the whole prep for it was the end of last week which is why the vlog's been a bit mia um but they finally launched you would have seen it at the beginning of this vlog like me literally freaking out about the whole thing um but that just kind of threw off my plans for the vlog and like my whole week but we're back on it this week it's actually tuesday now because yesterday was actually all about the cases i just thought right let's start today as a fresh um, I'm actually just going to head to the shops. I'm going to have a quick look in the shops. I'm also going to take back that Zara top which I bought in the previous vlog. That black one. Just because from the side it just doesn't look very flattering. Like I tried to wear it the other night. It just didn't look the best. So I'm going to take it back and maybe exchange it for something else. Or just take it back and see what else they've got in the shops. Um, this is my outfit for today. This is a weekday jumper. I've got a very casual outfit on today. Weekday jumper. I'll show you properly downstairs with my bag. And then I've also got my burst cut pinstripe trousers. Just very oversized, chill vibes. Looking a little bit pale. I feel like I had to put proper foundation on today. I normally only wear like a kind of tinted moisturiser. But I put like proper thick foundation on today. Which is a little bit too pale for me right now. Um, but I had to do that because my skin is just so bad guys. I don't know what's happened to it. I think it's because last week I literally had the busiest like wildest week and now i'm kind of taking a step back i've kind of stopped i've been drinking more water eating more healthily not having as much alcohol so i feel like it's just hating me right now so for some reason i just have this awful spot it's also kind of the week before my period so probably why i have these terrible cystic spots that you just can't squeeze i'm such a squeezer i love squeezing my spots and these are just really annoying ones that are really painful you can kind of see it there it's not too bad it's a little bit better today and then i also had one somewhere here um but i actually covered them with this which is one of my new favorite products so i basically use the technique stretch concealer to hide literally all my spots it's such a good concealer it's in that this little pot it's kind of more like a foundation cross with a concealer it's very thick and creamy but i just mix these two colors together and it's just worked a dream so you do not want to see how bad my skin is underneath this but let's head off to the shops but it's just a weekly occurrence at this point this is the fit like i said it's literally just so casual but i just kind of felt like wearing something very just like oversized comfy casual vibes um this sweatshirt like i said is from weekday i got this last year i think this was actually gifted or pr um my trousers are my trusty old bershka pinstripe ones these are the gray pinstripe ones uh Agatha's, as per usual do i even need to say and then i've got my dior bag which i've not used for a little while actually this was from luxury promise and i got it for 220 which was such a good price i think they actually put it on price wrong because it's actually in great condition and it's one of my favorite bags to use when i've got like a more monochrome outfit on i just feel like the outfit needs like a big bag so that is today's fit also if you can see i've got all my little denim case today 
she is my fave i literally obsessed i feel like i need to do like a little rotation and it's so nice to actually now be able to wear my cases on my phone because i've had them for so long sat in my room but i didn't want to put them on my phone just in case one someone saw them and two like i accidentally took a picture and then couldn't use the picture because like it's got the case on so i can finally use them so first up we headed to zara I fell in love with this little cropped waistcoat. It was like pinstripe material as well, which I really loved. I do already have one a little bit similar, so I didn't need this one, but I thought you guys might be interested. It wasn't too bad a price point. It was $32.99, and I think the jumper was the same price as well. This like little knitted jumper, which was really cute. I love this blazer. I feel like I need to get it to match my pinstripe trousers to like make a full suit. Um, this was on the more spendier side. This was $69.99. This bag, ultimate party season bag, you need this. Like, imagine with an all black outfit and just like gold heels. Absolutely stunning. It was £50, which I think is quite a lot. I found some more cute little cardigans. I really like this like coloured kind of tan one. I love the knit on it as well, which is so cozy. More stripes. We all know stripes are the biggest thing right now. This was like a co ord set, which I thought was a little bit different and could look so gorgeous with like a black leather jacket, black boots. I just thought it was very like different. I feel like this is like the viral zipper jumper from Zara in a roll neck. I actually kind of prefer the roll neck and I absolutely love this. This was $32.99. This jacket I've seen everywhere. I feel like it has gone just like viral, but it is stunning. I do understand the hype. Um, it, this was £99, so quite a lot, but it was really great quality. This is like the Kylie Jenner coat. I love the grey long line wool coat at the moment. I just love that kind of sophisticated vibe also love this kind of like mottled d knit roll neck in this light gray color i really need a new gray jumper so this is definitely one on my list this was another version like a cropped version of the same jacket i might even prefer this one i think i do prefer this one uh saw this jacket i did end up buying this jacket little disclaimer which i absolutely love these were the two items i tried on the jacket which i fell in love with and also this pair of jeans which i also loved i actually purchased these tried to style them but i just found them too short they were literally so flattering which is so annoying but you can see like in my uggs they were just a little bit too short on me Stopped for some lunch, some waggers. I got a ramen. It was stunning. Then I went to Taipo, which is one of my favourite shops to visit. I just love looking at all the cute little stuff they have. So many cute mugs. And they also had these like star sign candles. I feel like I need one, but I didn't love the Capricorn coloured one. Uh, I saw this in Primark. I tried it on. It fit terribly. It looked really cute, but it just it did not fit very well it was a bit unflattering uh i did love the sparkly bag i feel like you guys need this for sparkle season it's very similar to my bag i always get questions about and i tried it on and i did love it i just felt like i didn't need another sparkly bag because i've already got two and there's only so many i can wear so this is the best part this is the christmas shop this was actually in the homeware like section and they actually had so many cute bits my local primark's ever the best for like the homeware stuff but they actually had so many really gorgeous items like so many candles like little gnomes wreaths little dainty ornaments like they did have a lot I didn't pick up this mug, but I feel like I need it. Look how cute that is. Like an American Christmas mug. These were all so sweet as well. If you've got a very traditional like decoration vibe, then I feel like these would all fit so nicely. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with another vlog. Love you guys.